works. We're actually going to be painting the non-standard. I can't believe it. Is it that time already? Also, I'm going to be showing you a few uh, cheap and easy custom paint touches. And also, we're going to be fixing some of the things that go a little bit wrong sometimes when you're trying to get that super shiny wet coat on. Anyway, that's what's happening in this episode. Let's get to the workshop. Okay, so but before we paint, we've got to do an epic D-dust. I always think one of the... Uh, one of the worst things with bodywork is to prepare a car to be painted, you've got to make the mother load of all dust. Then to paint a car, you need an absolutely dust free environment. And for me, I've not got a separate booth or anything. I'll be painting it in here. So now I've got to get some like clinical stuff going on, even though it's literally the dustiest place on earth. But anyway, let's give it a go. Let's get to it. I'm going to do, I'm using this Top Gun stuff to cover everything in the workshop, the walls, particularly the ceiling, um, and I'm just going to try and get this as dust free as possible. On the floor, I know a lot of people mop down, they just mop the floor with some water. What I do, I add some PVA in that, and what the PVA does is it just sticks all the bits of dust together, and uh, you know, it might make a film over the floor. And then if it's drying out while you're doing it, it doesn't start getting dusty again, which sometimes can happen uh, with using water, especially you know, if you've got a couple of heaters running to keep the, uh, the space a bit warmer, that can happen. So, bit of PVA in the water, mop the floor, made it all like this. I'm just gonna show you how I get this Top Gun stuff to stick to the ceiling nice and quick and easy. Right, and so the way to stick this to the ceiling, uh, first you want it with uh, this way out, so you get a little bit of help from the static. Um, all this stuff has to go on, like it says, use this way out, and that's because it like statics up to stuff. But to get it on the roof, first off, I'm just using this contact spray adhesive, and what I'm gonna do is put a load on the roof. Be careful as well with this. We've got the car back to here. I wouldn't do this directly over the car because some bits of the glue could fall off onto this uh, prepared surface. So always be careful of that. Now we're going to put some hair. I'm going to come round this. This is my rack that I keep timber on. And uh, I want everything to hang down around that because that is probably, you know, that's going to be a, it's going to be a hot spot for dust. There we go. Come along there. And then I'm just going to go along here, so on this join, we get a good clean join. So you let that dry for that long, and then um, we're ready to put some of the Top Gun stuff up there. Okay, and so the spray booth is like a grotto of polythene now, and uh, I think this is probably as dust free as I'm ever going to get it. It's really hot in here as well. Um, so now what we're going to do is mask up the car, so we've just got the roof showing, and then we're going to do a really good deep clean and deep dust to the roof. good. Car is totally masked, just the roof out there and the roof already flatted down, already done and what we did, we went over it with tack rag, panel wire, tack rag, panel wire, tack four times, four times of each to get it like this. So we should be pretty much, there is no dust in here, no bits. We're ready to put the first coat of colour on. Not going to tell you what colour, we wait and see. And also, um, I'm not going to tell you the exact final finish because we're going to throw in a few custom touches on one that is a super cheap DIY way to a really like top level finish. We also, we've blown over this with, uh, we've got them anti-static guns. And what it does, um, a lot of the time when you're rubbing with rags and stuff, you're statically charging the panel all the time you're rubbing. So you just blow over that and it discharges all the static out of it. 
Like, I don't know if it works or not, but I have had some good results using it where I've got a lot less bits in particularly black paint. Um, and it must do something because the minute you press the button on it, it cuts out all radio and like cell phone signal. So it's got to do something, isn't it? Okay, so let's get the base coat on. What colour is it going to be? very dark grey car is going to be gold I love gold so there it is gold roof well sort of copper colour and what I'm going to do now I'm going to add a bit of um, silver pearl essence to that so I'm going to give it one coat of silver pearl just to give it that extra bit of shimmer but even after that there is even more crazy custom touches we're going to do to this paint job champagne gold sort of feel to it but now we're going to put some flake in now I don't want to go through the hassle of getting flake and putting flake in the gun and getting the gun all blocked up I only want a mild flake so what I thought or what I just had nothing about is rustoleum glitter like this is meant for like I don't know some sort of like craft stuff you know like Christmas decoration we used it loads of times. It's in an acrylic clear, so it'll be fine with what we're using. I always do steering wheels with this, so what I do, I'll paint a steering wheel in a base colour, then I go over with some of this, and then I 2K over it. I've never had any problems. I've never done a panel as big as a roof, but that's what we're going to do. So I've got like, I don't know, a couple of cans worth. So I'm going to dust that glitter all over the roof, I'm going to leave that for 10 minutes, and then we're going to come in with a uh, nice few coats of uh, 2K clear. So we put like a heap of uh, 2K clear on this last night and it has come out pretty good. Um, I'm quite pleased with how it looks. If you look in here, there's lots of twinkly, twinkly uh, flake. And don't forget that was just from that aerosol can and then we've just covered it in this, uh, in this 2K. However, there have been problems and always we're putting this much clear on, sometimes you're going to get runs. So, if you come around here, so then, if we look here, oh no, what has happened? We've got this absolute mountain of runs. Um, it's bad because it's right on the sun visor. Also on the sun visor here, you can see, we can see some sanding marks that the clear is not quite covered. So, we've got to sort that out. Also, what I'm going to do, because there's a few bits in this, it's not like it's perfect, I'm going to flat the whole roof down and we're going to re-clear it. But first, we're going to try and get rid of these runs. Okay then, so the runs on the roof, these are particularly bad. Um, I don't know if you can see on the camera there, but you know, these are really lumpy. And uh, the thing you've always got to be very careful with here is like, you start sanding this down, 
you're going to sand all of this down. And if you break through, especially on something like this, we've got the pearl, we've got the flake, we can't blow this back in. So um, we need a way to not sand these bits and only sand these high bits. And this high bit comes all the way from there. That comes all the way down to there. So what are we going to do? So then what we're going to do, we're going to put some, I've got dolphin glaze here, but any sort of really fine um, body filler will do. So that's probably like top stop gold, this, you know, that sort of thing. So we're going to mix a bit of this up. Dolphin glaze, and now I know this seems like madness, but we're going to put this over the uh, over the drips. So here we go. Let's put this over the drips. There we go. You don't need a lot, and if you you know if you can still see the drips through it, that's pretty good and uh, make sure it's nicely feathered on the edges because that bit where it's on good paint, you want to be able to get that off. So there we go, looks like madness, but bear with me, it's gonna turn out, fingers crossed, so that we don't break through the clear coat and all we do is take the drips out and then the, uh, the dolphin glaze sort of protects the good paint around the drips. We've put the dolphin glaze over the uh, drips. I've let that dry, and now I'm gonna sand it off. And I'm starting with a bit of 120. I'm using like a bit of this auto net, abronet, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna wet it. Pretty much all I'm going to do with the 120. I might just go back, get these thicker bits on the edge off. I probably won't need to though. And now I'm going down to a 320. Done there with the uh, 320, and now what I'm going to do is go for a piece of 1000 grit and just get the rest of this sort of um, dolphin residue off. Mm, sounds like there's been a terrible accident at sea. We've done the thousand grit. I'm just going to go over to get these last few little bits off with this 1500 grit. So that's it. That's that sandy down. It's quite tense, you know what I mean? You don't want to go through. Um, you don't want to go through the clear coat, especially when you've got something like this where it'd be very difficult to patch it up. You'd probably end up repainting the whole roof. But just to show you how nice that is, if I wipe that over with some panel wipe, it's totally gone. Now what you could do from this point on is you could, um, you could uh, go over that with some 2000 grit and then using the machine you could polish that up and that'd come up nice and shiny. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to flat all of this roof back and then I'm going to go over it uh, with a coat of clear 
when I do the rest of the car. So the whole car is covered in the same clear coat. And uh, at this point, just here, which I've got masked off at the minute, I'll feather this out and along there is where the grey will meet the gold. But that, that connection will be under one coat of um, clear coat. So, that went well. Got one more to do over there, but I'll get on with that, you know. No one wants to watch too much flattened down. Just like before, we've got everywhere as dust free as possible. So we've mopped the floor with the PVA solution. Everywhere super, super, you know, uh, dust free. We've uh, blown out all the cracks, all the uh, panel gaps. We've wiped around all the panels, so we know the door shuts and everything. We're not changing the colour of the car, so we won't be painting in there. Um, we've done a lot of prep, <clears throat> and now we are ready to uh, just finish cleaning it. So what we've done, to get this super, super clean, we've been around it with panel wipe and we've used uh, brand new nice clean cloths. Uh, lots of panel wipe, probably been around the car seven or eight times and also lots of tack ragging. We have tack ragged and tack ragged all over this um, in every nook and cranny. I'm pretty sure this is totally dust free. If the car isn't dust free though, because we're going over this with the 2K clear, just remember you can always sand and flat and polish afterwards. So it's, if as you're painting, you see a little bit in the paint, it's not like, you know, oh, the game's up, it's, it's all gone wrong. It's not, you can, we can fix all of those things. I can guarantee as well that we ain't gonna get no perfection on this at all. Um, there will be bits I'll have to go to after, flat out and polish and uh, stuff like that. At the moment, as you can see, we've got the, uh, we've got the roof masked off because of course that's going to be a different colour. But I'm going to get a base coat on here and then we're going to unmask the roof and then I'm going to clear coat everything. The roof has already had about three layers of clear coat but because it's got a flake, we need that extra, extra depth in the clear over that. This has just been um, flatted off, just sort of nibbed off and the, uh, the clear will go nicely onto that and then we'll get that real glass-like shine with none of them bits of flake sticking out. Don't forget to tack rag your airline. coat on and then um, I did the grey base coat on the bottom and then I unmasked the gold roof and then I 2k cleared the whole car <clears throat> on four coats. It's been three days so let's have a look at how it looks. Here it is looking you know it, it looks really shiny but there are bits in it. There's a lot of little bits and they're just bits of dirt for all we sheeted up in here there's still bits of dirt but that's not a problem because what we can do is we can polish all of that out. So what I'm going to be doing today is flattening and polishing this paintwork to get it done. Now, I've left it for three days and I've been told many times that you can just do it the next day. And you can do it the next day and it is easy to do it the next day if you're really good with the polishing mop and cutting compound. If you're not so good, leave it for a few days you've got a lot less chance of burning through it because it's uh, this is sort of hardened off quite good so um, I should be able to work this quite well without too much fear of burning through it. So here we go, let's polish the car. Um, doing the flatting down for the paint so I'm going to be flatting with 2000 grit, you know like this stuff, wow. Sometimes you don't even know if you've got the paper the right way around. Everything's got to be super clean, you can't have any bits of grit, any bits of dirt, so I'm going to soak this in some water. Fill this with water, probably with a little bit of hand soap in there, just so that everything moves around nice. And I'll be soaking a few sheets of this to use, just so it's not got that line, because uh, uh, you could get, you know, like an edge, and it could make a little, 
you know, like a little ridge in the paint. So in there, get in with some water, a little bit of soap. But first what I'm doing, this tool, I've wiped it out with this rag that has got uh, a little bit of panel wipe on it, just so it's super clean. So, okay then, so paper's nice and soft now, and uh, what I'm gonna do is start flattening the roof. You know what I mean? You've not gotta go crazy. All you've gotta do is take all those little bits of, um, you know, like dust and stuff out, make sure everything stays nice and wet and everything's moving. Right, let's do some sanding. I'm using a block for this. Everything, all the sanding on this, I'll do with a block. I'll do everything with a block, and then what I couldn't get to with a block, I'll do by hand. Okay then, so I've flattened the roof, and now I'm doing a bit of polishing. So, uh, what I always do, I always keep some water handy, keep everything wet and everything moving. If you're not used to polishing, keep the polishing on a nice low speed. Just take a little bit longer. What you've not got to do is burn through the paint because you've come this far, all you've got to do is polish it and it'll look great. Just take your time, go nice and slow and polish, keeping the polishing machine always moving. We'll be doing a few finishing touches. We'll be bonding that super cool flush fitting bonded rear screen in. So join us then and don't forget, click, subscribe, press that bell icon. If you don't press the bell icon, you won't know when the next exciting, fascinating episode is on. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much. Good night.